I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of me. Welcome to the Billamere Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just... Let me know. Good to see you. Hello, friend. The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. Suits me just fine. My business is falling apart, my apprentice never listens to me, and now there's talk of dragons. If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. I think mm -hmm. continue with your performance. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right You don't look like a pilgrim. Clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. <sighs> what a boring conversation. My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. Pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my lute? We don't get many... Need a room? Maybe a drink? You name it. People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe? About a year or two ago, I warned him. We never saw him again. Hmm. What do you want? Monastery, watch your step. It's a long way down.
The Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I, for one, am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are, sure to earn Our Lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? Huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. Come now. We've got some business what to discuss. It can't possibly be true. I do indeed. To that black you must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's the assistant. And then the You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the what? shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Once an ex-lover killed. Scale. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Reek of death, my friend. I salute you. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. What? Mother? Is that your Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. So many contracts, so... The contracts I dole out are fairly simple. Go to a location and kill the target. But this is different. The jobs Astrid gives you will be more important and usually more complex. Just keep your wits about you. And for Sith's sake, don't get killed. I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. Another member of the family! Hello, hello! So very good to meet you! Ooh, 
so silent, so menacing. A true assassin of the old way. Cicero likes you. Oh, yes, Cicero likes you indeed. <laughs> The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was desecrated. The Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my honor as keeper. Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see, the Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and... <laughs> happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> there is no listener. Not yet. But someday, someday, someday... Day, I pray that one will come to hear her say the words. <laughs> oh, well, the listener is the only person the Night Mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Of course, Our Lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are rotted. But inside the listener's head, I hear it's intimate. Ah, but there has not been a listener in years and years. Our Lady has not chosen Cicero, and certainly not Astrid, or anyone. But someday... Cicero takes care of our lady's body, oils it, preserves it, keeps it safe, makes sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. Oh, what? Who is the night mother? Oh, 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 you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> you, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And killed them <laughs> in his honor. Hmm... That's like telling you about the cold of space. Or terror of midnight. Sithis... is all those things. He is... the Void. Stay safe! Cicero is hungry. Let me guess. Astrid failed to mention I'm her husband? She has a tendency to do that. Doesn't want the others thinking she plays favorites. Yeah, follow my wife's orders. And don't do anything stupid. The witless fool and his pet corpse? Take a guess. <laughs> Until next time, brother. a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. You're headed to the Hag's Cure, right? It's a good shop. You should examine their wares. Never pass up the chance to buy a good potion. Or poison. And one more thing. 
Have fun. You'll be committing a dark deed, but there's no reason you shouldn't enjoy yourself. You're only young once. Trust me, I know. Two hundred years ago, I would have lain down my life for the unholy matron, but that age is long since past. Astrid is my matron now. I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course, three hundred years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably fresh. Have a good contract. Brother, you must speak to that Moiri woman, correct? I have heard rumors in Windhelm. She was recently implicated in a thievery, along with her lover. The lover will likely be your target. If memory serves me correctly, he leads a group of bandits. So this may be rather interesting for you. Truthfully, I'm not entirely sure. It's not that I don't have the utmost respect for Sithis and the Night Mother and the ancient ways. I do. But I've never been much for religion. I kill because it's what I've been trained to do. It's all I know. So long as Astrid is happy, I'm happy. Until next time, brother. Does death not come to us all? Is it not a certainty? I am therefore honored to be Doom's Herald to play some part in a being's inevitable end. What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her Keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. You're being sent to meet with a contact directly, is that correct? What a most unusual occurrence. Astrid usually performs this duty herself. I can only assume she wants to test the full breadth of your abilities. So be polite and professional and represent us well. Until next time, brother. Oh, that's too much of an obsession these days. Need something? No. Their arrival is the best thing that's happened to the Sanctuary in years. Astrid is an effective leader, but we've been rudderless for too long. Scrounging for contracts, abandoning the tenants. The Dark Brotherhood has been reduced to a group of common cutthroats. Frankly, it's embarrassing. 
Yes. Just because you're now a professional assassin, don't think you have to skulk around in the dark like a skeever and stab people. Do what I do. Walk up to your target, introduce yourself, melt their skin off, and then run like the wind. <laughs> Works every time. Yeah, yeah, goodbye, kill lots of people, hail Sithis, blah, blah, all that. You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. Brother. Don't take offense to the nicknames, Morsel. I'm a werewolf. Hard not to think of you as a snack. <laughs> Brother. Go. Take care of the Muiri contract. There will be plenty more, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> 